If you're running out of space on your iPhone or iPad, I've got some tips that can help you free up some space and get back on track. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and welcome to Studio Live today where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. And a question I get from folks a lot is, how do I make sure that I have enough space on my iPhone or iPad? Or I thought I had more space than I did and I've deleted a bunch of stuff, but it still won't let me install that update or install that new app. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of quick tips that are going to help get you back on track. Tip number one is photos, because photos and videos can take up a heap of space here on your iPhone or iPad. So if you come into your photos app, I'm gonna jump in here to my recent photos and you can see here, I've got a bunch of screenshots here that I don't need anymore. These are from older tutorials. So what I'm gonna do is tap on select here. I'm gonna tap all of these and yep, all of these as well. And then hit the delete button up here in the top left and there delete nine items. And there you go, they've gone away, but have they? No, they haven't. They've gone to a really recently deleted items folder, which we need to then go to. So if we tap up the top here to go back to albums, if you scroll down, it'll be different places in different layouts, but usually right at the bottom here under other albums recently deleted. And there they all are. They're still here. So even if you think you've freed up a couple of gigabytes of space, you haven't because they're still going to be there. So I'm going to tap select. And then in the top left, I'm going to say delete all. Now, obviously, once we delete these, they're going to be gone forever. They're not sitting there in the deleted items folder anymore. So be careful before you do finally delete things. And I know this is probably an obvious tip, but for some folks, it can be hard to remember to do that. And you'll be running around going, tr trying to find space when there's a bunch of space sitting there in your deleted items. Tip number two is very similar, but it's related to our files app this time. So down the bottom here, we're gonna tap on files and jump here into our files. So you'll be aware that we can store files on iCloud Drive, on, on my iPad, and a bunch of other locations. So you can free up space by coming in here. Say you've got some GarageBand projects, we can delete some of these and we can free up some space. But once again, it doesn't go away straight away. If we scroll down again, once again, we've got a file here, a folder called Recently deleted. Let's tap on that one and look at all the junk I got in here. I got GarageBand projects, I got WAV files, I got everything going on here. So here I am thinking I'm doing a good thing, deleting all these files, freeing up space. It hasn't actually gone away. So what do I need to do? Once again, I'm going to select in the top right corner and we're going to delete all down the bottom right this time. So we're going to tap on delete all. We're going to get our warning there saying, are you sure these are going to be gone forever? Yes, I am. I hit delete and boom, they're going to freed up some space. So there you go. Tip number two to get more space on your iOS device. For tip number three, we're going to firstly jump into our settings. So we're going to go into settings here. We're going to go into the general tab, and then we're going to go into our iPad or iPhone storage options. So we'll tap on that one and we'll jump in to our storage. And what this will actually do, it'll tell you how much storage you're actually using on your iPad or your iPhone. So it may take a little bit of time to calculate depending on how much you've got on there and how long it's been since you've done this. So we'll just let it spin for a minute and then I'll come back and I'll show you what we can do. So you're probably familiar with this layout if you've ever used this before, but we've got up the top here, the different types of media that we have installed there. We've then got the option to offload unused apps. I don't enable that, but if you enable that, it will mean that it'll delete the apps, not the data, but the apps if you run out of space. I don't like it because then you're constantly re-downloading your apps and I don't particularly enjoy it myself. You can review your large attachments from your, your um, messenger and from your message messages there. And you can see I've got 700 megabytes there, but here's what where I want you to look. It's down here in our apps. And the ones that I want you to pay special attention to are usually your social media apps. So for instance, we've got YouTube here. Now YouTube is saying it's using 1.85 gigabytes. Now YouTube is not a 1.85 gigabyte app. So that's something we need to look into in a moment. And if we come down a bit further, now I don't use Facebook much on this iPad. So yeah, Facebook's only 343 megabytes. So you may want to check Facebook, you may want to check Instagram. The reason that these are going to increase in size over time is that they are caching the media. So anything that's playing back videos or audio is caching, which just means saving a copy locally of some of that media. Now you can come in and remove some of the media. What I like to do though is be a little bit more uh, intense and I like to delete and reinstall the app. So I'll show you the options we have here now. 
So let's jump into YouTube. We just need to tap on YouTube itself here and look at this. The app size itself, 138 megabytes. Documents and data, 1.71 gigabytes. So that's a lot of space that we can recover here. So what I like to do, once again, is actually delete it. Now you can go into YouTube. There are settings in there where you can delete your data if you don't want to delete and reinstall. I have more success doing it this way. All you need to do is log back in one time and you know you're fresh and you've just got the standard app installed. So we're going to be brave. We're going to tap delete app. YouTube's going to go. All of its documents and data can go. Can't be undone. Yes. Now, if you do download, if you've got YouTube premium and you've downloaded videos that you want to keep, clearly don't use this because you want them on your device. But for most of us, we're just browsing. We're just sort of viewing things online. You can do this and you can do this for, like I say, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, um, any of the apps that are going to use video are going to do the same sort of thing. So that's gone now. All we need to do now is jump over to the app store, re-download and reinstall. So into the app store, we jump here. We're going to come in here. We're going to hit the search button down in the bottom right. We're going to come into search and we're going to type in YouTube. There it is. We've downloaded it before. So all we need to do is tap on the little cloud icon. It will go away. It'll request it. It'll start downloading and then we'll have it back here on our device in just a couple of moments. Oh, and it probably goes without saying, but don't do this when you're out and about using your mobile data. It's better to do it when you're at home and you're using your home internet connection. And there you go, that is done now. We just need to tap on the open button there, log back in with our Google or a YouTube account, and we're good to go. We're logged back in, and because it uses your account, it doesn't actually save anything there, then all of your previous watches and your subscriptions and everything will be 100% intact. And if we return to our iPad storage here, there is YouTube only using 165 megabytes, which is a certain improvement on what we were using before. And as you can see, if we go right to the top here, we've now freed up an extra few gigabytes of storage just with these three little moves, deleting our files in our photos, deleting our recently deleted files from our files app and removing and reinstalling any of those space hogging apps that we have on our iPhone or iPad. I hope you found these useful. There's two more videos on the channel link down below. If you want to check out some more, you can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next one.